Should we start now? I think so. We should start. Now. Yes, we can start, sir. Sinha sir will join within ten minutes. I think so. Uh, so we are privileged uh, to welcome Yuanis Ligoris, Secretary General of FIF uh, from Greece, Athens. Uh, it's really our uh, luck and uh, fortune. Uh, to be uh, with him uh, for tonight uh, webinar because his work on uh, figure study is fantastic and i think today for the first time we will touch that genre in our photo webinar now i'll request uh, our chief advisor and uh, ex president fip sri anil risal singh sir uh, to welcome him and introduce him to all the participants over Thank to anil ji Thank you, thank you so very much, Mukesh ji, and uh, friends. Namaskar, good evening, and hello to everybody. Wish you all a very, very happy New Year. Uh, I have given a very pleasing uh, responsibility of uh, welcoming Mr. Yohannes Slikoris and giving uh, his introduction. So, uh, Mr. Yohannes Slikoris. Welcome to this webinar. I am very sure uh, by seeing your images and knowing your thoughts and philosophy, we all will be immensely benefited. And really, it's a pleasure for Dhanbad Camera Club. On behalf of Dhanbad Camera Club and on my own behalf, I welcome you to this virtual meeting with the members of Dhanbad Cam Camera Club and the photography enthusiasts. So, uh, friends, now, uh, Mr. Ioannis Lycoris' introduction is too huge. So, I I start right right now. Ioannis Lycoris is born in Athens, Greece. He studied law at the University of Athens and accomplished his postgraduate studies in civil and commercial law at the University of Paris, France. Today, he is working as a lawyer in Paris, and he is a deputy legal counselor of the Hellenic Post SA. As early as at the age of 12 years, friend, friends, he started taking interest in photography Rajma, and signed up volume as a member of the Hellenic Photographic Society and thereby becoming its ever youngest member. Since 1993, he is a member of the Administrative Council of the Hellenic Photographic Society. And since 1997, the Greek lies an officer in the International Federation of Photographic Art, that is FIAP. In the year 2010, he became member of the directory board of FIAP. And one year later, he assumed the responsibilities both of the director of the FIAP Biennial Service and of the vice presidency of the Hellenic Photographic Society. Since 2012, he is elected as a secretary general of FIAP. And till date, he is the secretary general of FIAP Friends. He often creates diapomas, sometimes accompanied by his own music and likes landscape photography, portrait and photojournalism, friends. The last year, he is working mainly on nude photography, trying to give his models graphic shapes that go beyond body forms. Very, very interesting it is. He has traveled around the world and taken thousands of the pictures from the different places, especially from the remote and difficult to reach areas such as Papua New Guinea, Borneo, Tasmania, Iran, Uz Uz Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan, Tibet, Namibia, Libya, Bolivia, etc. His photographs have been published in many foreign magazines of artistic photography. In Greece, his work soon became of great demand and presented in most of the bigger magazines and newspapers. 
He has been participated with success in many biennials and in many group exhibitions abroad. He has also recognized many personal exhibitions in Greece and other countries too. His photographs repeatedly won many awards in Greek and international competitions, among them many gold medals. He has participated many times as a jury member to international photographic contest in Greece and abroad. In the year 2002, FIEP honored him with the distinction of FIEP, mm. which was mm. friends, please, please mute your mic, friends, which was followed by the distinction FIEP in 2009. And finally, by the highest distinction, Amphiab, in 2014. For his artistic inspiration and work. In the meantime, 2007, FIEP granted him also distinction of ESFIEP, followed by the honorary EFIEP distinction in 2012 as a recognition to his contribution to FIEP and photography too. In 2011, he was honored for his participation and involvement in photography by Siles Senet Sarai in Konya, Turkey, as the best photographer of the world for, the, for that year. Different photographic associations of federations conferred upon him as a mark of respect for his services in photography, their honorary life membership or fellowships. Among them, some major are Bangladesh Photographic Society in 2013, the Photo Club Buenos Aires in 2013, the Federation Argentina de Fotografia again in 2013, the Federation of Indian Photography 2014, the Photographic Association of Dandam in 2017, and the ICS International USA 2018. In 2018, China Jinan International Photography Biennial awarded him as one of the top 10 international photographers from Europe, America, and Asia. The same year, he was appointed as guest professor at the University of Shandong in China. So friends, this is uh, introduction of Johannes Licoris in very brief. Uh, the main distinctions and the main features I have uh, presented in you. And really, we are very, very, very fortunate that uh, such a great personality is with us in this virtual meeting. And we all be benefited what he is going to show us and what he is going to tell us. So we are waiting for his presentation. Over to Mr. Uh, Mukesh Shirvastar. Welcome to uh, Ligoris with big applause. Thank you. Thank uh, you so our much. Next, our next step was uh, to be delivered by Dr. B.K. Sinha, but uh, since he's uh, uh, a bit engaged in the inauguration of exhibition of YPS uh, Bangalore, he will join us within five or 10 minutes. In the meantime, I think he, he has not come. In the meantime, I'm sharing my screen and uh, let us see the visual introduction of Ionis Licoris. It's very fantastic. He has visited our country three times in past, 2013, 2017, and recently 2019. So let me share my screen. This is in uh, 2013, he visited Bangalore as member jury. In 2017, he visited Kolkata as distinguished guest for PAD. That is the uh, Photographic Association of Dumdum. In 2019, he was member jury uh, for FIP in Calcutta. 
this is the i will share some some of the memories uh, with uh, our guest today uh, ionis dikoris uh, this 2013 it was a ff nature biennial world cup in bangalore and he was a member jury this is the lighting of lamp in the beginning of any ceremony in india you can see ligori is wearing headgear of indian tradition and culture this is i think this is a hampi yes this is hampi yes sir again with dr balun sinha and anil disal singh sir <clears throat> then in 2017 uh, he visited kolkata as english guest uh, for 11th international photography conference organized by pat I think Dr. B.K. Sinha is welcoming our uh, guest, uh, uh, Ionis Likoris. We can see some of the images of Ionis Likoris in the background. At the dash, we can see the uh, photograph uh, framed. Uh, uh, by um, uh, for uh, our legendary photographer benu sen benu sen sir during a break for some snacks But this is very important because uh, uh, i can see uh, the way uh, uh, likori city enjoying the indian traditional uh, arden pot while drinking a cup of tea and i think uh, he must be getting some different kind of taste in the ordinary pot which we cannot uh, get in other kind of glass or other ware this is addressing the members there during the conference professor dilip kumar sin hais greeting him dr dk sinha <clears throat> and in the recent past in 2019 he visited again calcutta for the first view finder international digital salon as a member jury while judging the group photograph we can see uh, here aditi adit agrawal agrawala sir and susanto banerjee sir as a left and right of uh, ionis likoris this is the symbol of love in india that is taj mahal in front of taj mahal this is uh, professor b sen gupta presented him a painting of indian traditional painting in calcutta
and then he went to uh, nearby Santi Niketan with Dr. Barun Sinha uh, to enjoy the Indian traditional uh, dance and other uh, happenings around Santi Niketan. Uh, this is a uh, background of uh, people are standing with the uh, mask. He is the, it is a uh, chow dance uh, famous in uh, Bengal, Jharkhand and Odisha. He is being welcomed by the uh, dance group member with the flower gar garland. Action, the god is in action. Yeah. While capturing close up for that in front of Taj Mahal. Thanks all. <laughs> I think still Dr. Barun Sina has not arrived. So, uh, Bipla, are you here? Okay. So, in the meantime, uh, to make the interaction more lively, I would like to uh, ask a few questions from Likori so that we can know his views and thoughts about the photography. Uh, I have. Uh, uh, actually, I, uh, I will just, uh, I missed to show the MCF collections of his uh, works. So let me share my screen again. I want to show that is very important. I missed that. Just give me one minute time. Yes. Uh, this is the uh, set of images on which he was uh, conferred MCF in 2014. Uh, before I go ahead, I would like to know from uh, Likoris, what was his concept behind such kind of formation of the human figure? Uh, is it something like a Greek uh, letters or something? Please. So first of all, I would like to thank you, dear friend, for having given this opportunity to me to participate in this uh, webinar. I would like to thank uh, Dan Bad Camera Club and especially uh, you, Mukesh, for this opportunity. I would like to thank also uh, Anil Rizal for the introduction he made about me. I was amazed to hear all these things. And uh, special thanks also to this surprise with, with all these images uh, because they brought to me many memories from these uh, three journeys in India. And it was also a good opportunity for me because usually I am behind the camera. So I am never the model of myself of another one. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, it was yeah. a good uh, opportunity to see myself uh, in the world because uh, usually I'm behind the camera as I told you. <coughs> And of course, uh, I would like to thank all uh, the people who, are, uh, who have come here in order to follow this uh, speech, this presentation about the human figure. So regarding your question, uh, my M for portfolio, uh, it, its title is somatographies. This is a compound word of Greek origin okay. from, the word, from the words soma, which means body, and the words graphy, like photography, which means writing. Therefore, therefore, somatographies means writing to the body or writing by the body. The main idea is to use the body as a pretext or rather as a tool in order to write in the space that surrounds it. The use of black and white is necessary because it has an abstract effect and it has an ability to separate the main subject from the background. The body is decomposed from its traditional volume. This way, its shape reveals new perspectives where the shadows are very important. The symmetry also plays a fundamental role, as you can see in these pictures. 
we have a perpetual dialogue with the fluidity and sensuality of the presented body. Some images should be viewed upside down, given that the aim is not the body as such, but the abstract form behind it. Other images, on the contrary, may refer to some concrete forms, although quite different from what one would expect in a human body, such as letter of the alphabet, as Mukesh said, as everyday objects, or are even as, or as animals. So this is the idea behind uh, this portfolio. Thank you very much, Likoris, because the way, the, the moment I saw all the images, I was uh, uh, totally amazed. Ki what is the concept behind this kind of uh, mm -hmm. geometrical figure formation? And today, For example, in this special picture, you yeah. have something like it, the, the letter T or something like a cross. Yeah, yeah. So it, it, it made us delighted to know the... Uh, 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 yes, the idea behind it. Uh, then today morning, I also saw the list of Greek alphabets to know mm -hmm. uh, these uh, images better. Yes. Fantastic formation. For example, in this picture, we will see that it is upside down. Yeah. Because my idea is not the body as itself, but the figure behind the body. Okay. Thank you. For example, you can see that the bodies here are fluid. There yeah. is no space, there is no uh, surface. It's like uh, flowing in, in the air. Yeah. So did he use some stool? Yes, some stools yeah. and some banks. Okay, fine. And then in the computer, I made yeah, yeah. it. I yes. Fine. Wonderful formation, wonderful. Uh, one thing, Likoris, I would like to ask you here. Uh, have you used single light or uh, two lights in the studio? Uh, sometimes one light, sometimes two lights, but usually I prefer to add or remove lights in the computer, in the post-processing. Okay, okay. So more, a lot of shadows you can see here are artificial. Okay, okay, okay. This is also very unique, very unique. Mm -hmm. Again, look, look, looks like in the air. It's a classical example of deformation yeah. by wide angle. Yeah, by wide angle. We, we all are spellbound to see your this work. I think this is the last. This is the last. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you very much, Likaris, for um, uh, sharing your such uh, um, amazing works with us, our club. Uh, our, one thing is very, very uh, uh, interesting for us. When I saw your uh, bio, uh, uh, I read that uh, you started photography at the age of 12 years. Mm -hmm. I was totally amazed. I thought uh, whether it, I am reading wrong or it is uh, 12 or 32 or 42. 
but it it was really 12 years and i think he was the youngest photographer in the world to enter the field of art art photography at this age and also become the member of a, a photography club at this age so i think we we all should give a big applause for such kind of personality in front of us thank you thank you so much uh, and now likor is uh, please say something about this such a long journey uh, at, from the at the age of 12 years to uh, this current age i don't know your age uh, what is your current age but anyway <laughs> <laughs> i i am 55 years old so it's okay. uh, almost 40 something years yeah yeah so just say something yeah. about this long journey how the thing yes change how how, uh, how you took a turn from left to right then a straight and like that it's really a very long journey but hopefully it's uh, endless yeah so during all these years i explored almost every kind of photography yes some kinds i liked more like nature uh, landscape portraits or travel photography the last year as uh, our friend anil rizal told i am mostly working on special concepts and on nude photography in the beginning i liked to more to have separate pictures where each one had its own value later i prefer taking sequences where a series of photos may have an added value as a total so now i am mostly doing a series of photographs like this concept you saw like the portfolio or different things that can be held in an exhibition thank you very much uh, i think uh, uh, you uh, you visited our country three times in past yes in fact and you have visited different cities also not only calcutta but you went to delhi you went to agra probably you went to bharatpur also you also went to bangalore Uh, yes. you have you have you have met a lot of people because india is, is a country with a variety of uh, languages and variety of cultures so you, what is what is your feeling about our diversity in culture and the hospitality given to you in india uh, during all these uh, photographic years i had travel a lot around the world in every continent Some years in the past, uh, before my first journey to India, a friend of mine had told me that uh, India is maybe the only place in the world that you can feel it with all your five senses. Okay. And uh, I discovered that he was absolutely right. I remember once I was traveling by bus somewhere in India, really in the middle of nowhere. And suddenly I saw two Indian women with red saris coming out from a green field i think it was something like a rice field or something like that it was really a magical image since there was no sign of village nearby so i could not uh, imagine where did they come from and uh, everywhere you can smell in india either sandal incense or curry india is really a place you can see you can hear the traditional songs you can smell you can taste but uh, the most important for me is the hospitality of indian people as I, as you told us i have traveled in different parts of india of course indian is a huge country is a semi continent but uh, everywhere i traveled i found very friendly people looking at me always with a smile and ready to to share every moment of their life with me this was really amazing and that we shall have the opportunity to visit again in india is really a country i adore thank you very much dikori uh, in the last what kind of test you got when you uh, sip tea in earthen pot because you have sip the tea in ceramic pot glass pot but in india you got a chance to uh, sip a cup of tea uh, in the earthen pot Did you find any different taste for the tea? Tea. <laughs> yes, I like very much uh, lassi. Yeah, masala this, tea. This uh, Arden pot we call it uh, chukkar. Mm -hmm. Masala Sorry. tea. Yeah, masala lassi. tea. Yes, yes. Remember that masala tea. 
this is something I like very much. Yeah. Uh, in all my trips in India, wherever I was, I was always trying to find some uh, masala tea. Masala tea, <laughs> very good, very good. <laughs> you know, uh, Indian spices are very famous. Yes. Uh, when I went to Iceland in 2018, then I carried all the Indian spices from here uh, to cook in the night because we uh, we cannot get uh, Indian spices in Europe everywhere. Anyway. Yes, sure. Yes, yeah. Or you can find some, but only just a small part of it. A small part. Okay. Uh, I think uh, Barun Sinan sir, are you here? No. Biplao, are you here? Uh, hi, sir. Yeah. Biplo, I think Sina oh. will take some more time to come. In the okay. meantime, I'll request Biplo uh, from Nikon India uh, to give his presentation on technical part. I think your topic is uh, uh, hybrid uh, D780, Nikon D780 hybrid DSLR camera. So uh, over to Pablo. Pallab, please go ahead. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. And uh, thank you and happy new year once again to everyone uh, for giving me this opportunity. Uh, my name is Pallav Paul and I'm the technical officer from Nikon India. And uh, I'm glad that today I'm into this session uh, discussing uh, all about photography and everything okay. else. So uh, thank you so much, uh, Mukesh, sir. Uh, talking about uh, the uh, uh, hybrid camera, like uh, we called it a hybrid camera because of its made. It, at the same time, you can both uh, DSLR and the features of mirrorless in the single camera. Uh, it's uh, That's why we call it hybrid. Like uh, normally, you can find all the different cameras or equipment as a DSLR or as a mirrorless camera. But uh, D780, Nikon D780 is only one camera that gives you both the features in, as a use of DSLR and the use of mirrorless in the same camera. So uh, I'll just uh, speak uh, a little bit about the camera, like uh, its features and all. And then if uh, there are any uh, queries regarding the camera or anything else, please do ask me. So the, the 780 that we have, it, it's a 24.5 megapixel camera. Again, it's a... I said uh, it's a DSLR, but if you want uh, all the mirrorless features, like uh, the focusing issue and uh, the sharpness mm -hmm. and the video features of a mirrorless camera that we have in our cameras, then you can also use it in the DSLR camera. You just have to use it in live view mode. Whenever you switch your camera from viewfinder to live view mode, the camera becomes a complete different camera from DSLR to a mirrorless camera. So for example, uh, many people uh, in our industry love to use DSLRs as uh, of its features or its uh, weight or its comfortability, their gripping and all. So much uh, as uh, many of them don't want to switch from mirrorless or from DSLR to mirrorless either way. So this is the camera for those uh, who actually want to have that reliability of a DSLR camera, of that body, of that balance of the body and the uh, weight and the grip of that body. So they can use it both the ways. They can also have all the features of DSLR that they need. And again, at the same time, if they are thinking of a good hybrid camera or features regarding the mirrorless system of Nikon, then they can use it in D780. So as you switch your camera from the viewfinder to LCD or the live view mode, the camera completely becomes a mirrorless camera. And you get all those features of a mirrorless camera in this camera. So you can go and shoot 4K video. You can shoot... Uh, full HD video, you will get uh, highest autofocusing points in it for a smooth tracking and autofocus of your subject. Uh, you can make good H HDR and HLG movie output from the camera and many more. So uh, if you say me that why is this camera important or how is this camera important, then this camera is uh, important for those who want to completely uh, use the like agility. We say that DSLR is the cameras that uh, we always saw for the very last uh, years and mirrorless is the newest formation of the those technologies so i want the technology of the mirrorless but i want to have that uh, feel and the rhythm of the dslr so the d780 nikon d780 is the camera that will give you all those features of mirrorless technology but again you will always have to feel 
or you will have to keep your feeling of that DSLR and the equipment that you had already used it and you can just rely upon it as you do. So uh, talking about the camera, you get uh, dual SD card slots in it and uh, there are like good, good auto focusing points for low light performance if I say then this camera gives you a lot of uh, options when you're shooting in low light area. So again for battery backup or for a good performance this camera is uh, basically a magical camera for those who actually love for shooting in any any genre. So that's it about the 780 camera. So if there are any questions uh, you want to know about the camera or anything uh, regarding photography, then please do ask. Hi, sir. Yes. <clears throat> I have a question. Uh, what is the lens uh, lens using of lens? Is it a DX or FX lens using your camera. hybrid camera? Okay. Any more queries or any more questions from any public? Uh, can you hear the question for me? Uh, pardon, sir. Uh, my question that the, um, uh, the hybrid in hybrid camera, what type of lens in use? Is it DX uh, lens or FX lens? Sir, it's FX yeah, the... lens. Oh, because the camera body is um, FX camera, so all the lenses will also be used for FX lens. I'll F count FX lens. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Any question from anybody? Sir, I think Varun Sina sir has come. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sina sir, are you hearing me, sir? I am hearing you, but I can't uh, put uh, video. Video. I think Pallav, uh, Pallav, Paul. I think thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for being here with us. Uh, sir, you see the left bottom second symbol of the video camera. I can see that. Uh, yes. Click that. Yeah. Okay, sir. Niche top bottom me a mic hai aur ek video camera ka symbol hai. Ah, theek hai. Video camera me ye kar diye. Lal tha usko apne click kar diya sir. Ah. Lekin abhi apka sir webcam on nahi hua sir. Apka face nahi aa raha sir. Benji da, thoda sa help kijiye. Hello, yes sir. Varun Sina sir. Ah. Please, you आप जरा क्लिक करो उस टॉप वीडियो में जो एक तो छोटा सा कॉम्बो बटन है ना वीडियो में हाँ आ गया आ गया सर आ गया आ गया आ गया now you are visible thank you sir yes yes sir you are hello everybody yeah hello hello welcome welcome sir Anis good evening hello good evening good evening good evening good evening namaste namaste तो लेकिन और इस फाइली और uh, Dr. Sina has arrived because he was busy in the uh, inauguration ceremony of YPS photo. Uh, we shall arrive. That's still going on. Yeah, yeah, still going on, sir. So nice of you, sir. Uh, now your party is still uh, uh, awaiting your presence. Now yes. please share your memories with uh, Ionis Likoris. Uh, I, I, I can give you feedback, sir. Uh, I, I showed him all the India visit images and he was so happy. Uh, to visit our country and different part of our country and particularly uh, he expressed his happiness to enjoy the uh, tea uh, in Arden pot and he got a different kind of taste and he calls it a masala tea. So we are very <laughs> happy to, yes. <laughs> to know about it sir. Yes. Uh, so please go ahead and share your memories with Ionis Ligoris, our guest today. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> my first uh, introduction and interaction with uh, Anis was in way back in 2012 at uh, World Congress of uh, FIEP World Congress at Singapore and uh, 
after that we met uh, in all the world congresses and uh, unfortunately last year it was to be held in india but uh, because of corona we could not organize it and uh, his if i remember uh, his first visit to india as the secretary of fiep was in 2014 when he was a jury for the fiep nature biennial and uh, he came to bangalore and uh, from there we went together to some places and then again for the preparation of world congress uh, he came to india in 2019 and also was a jury uh, for our first viewfinder salon now that salon had a huge entry of 32000 images and uh, uh, over two days he painstakingly did the uh, jury work at calcutta and uh, initially we were we were very worried because this was the first time a foreign dignitary was judging a fip salon uh, there has been many foreign dignitaries coming to india for different clubs salons but for fip and that too with such a huge number of entries everything went very well and uh, he was ever so helpful guiding us through different stages and uh, post judging we took him to shanti niketan for three nights all of us enjoyed those of us who went there with him all of us enjoyed he also enjoyed and uh, uh, before all this tour uh, all this judging he i received him at delhi took him to jaipur and agra because that's where the the congress was to happen and uh, uh, i have very fond memories of those moments he, he we spoke he spoke to me about how to conduct the congress what uh, what kind of mistakes organizers do and how to iron it out all these things he gave me uh, 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 insight and uh, we saw the venue and uh, uh, overall i was very very impressed with his attitude help helpfulness and guidance and uh, even now whenever we ask him for any help or any problems he is always there to sort it out so Uh, thank you very much anis uh, for joining as a guest today and uh, uh, we love to see your work and presentation thank you thank you very much sir thank you very much so uh, friends now the time has come to see the amazing graphical representation of human body uh, through the uh, eyes of uh, our guest to, uh, tonight i uh, always like this and uh, we are we are fortunate enough to see the work from the world's youngest photographer club member he became the photography uh, hellenic photography club member at the age of 12 years and that is a uh, remarkable in the world so uh, i welcome uh, ionis likoris Uh, to share your screen and go ahead with your amazing presentation thank you mukesh thank you also baron for your nice words i also have very strong and very good memories from the trips we did together and i hope we can meet again soon after the pandemic uh, ends so can i proceed now to sure. sharing of sure. my screen sure sure, sure. share okay. your screen
I have not this right. Uh, I think uh, just uh, just a minute. Sir, make him co-host. Okay. You know, to, uh, I made him earlier. So let me check. Just wait, sir. Okay. Where his name is gone. बेनजीत आपको नेम दिख रहा है इनका हाँ मिल गया यस आई हैव मेड यू कोहोस्ट डिकॉरिस नाउ यू कैन शेयर योर स्क्रीन ओके सॉरी सॉरी फॉर द इनकन्वेनियंस आई जस्ट नो प्रॉब्लम बिगनिंग सो कैन यू सी माय स्क्रीन यस सर यस ओके इट इस क्लियरली विजिबल सो डियर फ्रेंड्स I started photography very early at the age of five years. When I was 12 years old, I wanted to be a member of the Hellenic Photographic Society, which is the oldest and most important photographic association in Greece. The problem was that uh, in order to be accepted, I should have owned a valid identity card, something that was not possible for me, since according to the Greek law, in order to have an identity card, you must be at least 14 years old. Therefore, my persistence was so intense that the administrative council of the Hellenic Photographic Society took a special decision for me, allowing my inscription as probationary man. Just a minute, uh, Mr. Likoris. There is some echo coming out. Yes, out I of can hear you. Yeah. Also, some echo. Yeah. Is it better now? Yeah. Now it's better. Okay. Please go ahead. Please go ahead. I hope that was a good decision, because 15 years later, I entered the administrative council of the Hellenic Photographic Society, and 20 years later, I became the FIAP liaison officer for Greece. Today, I am still the youngest, the younger oldest member of the Hellenic Photographic Society, having already 42 years of active presence within the association. <laughs> During my photographic research, I tried different kinds of photography, always as a self-taught photographer. As a university student, I traveled a lot around the world with my girlfriend. And I used to see it always through my lens in a three by four frame. I took more than 30,000 slides, mainly portraits and travel photography. The only field that I had left untouched was nude photography, mostly because I was afraid. I was afraid of not being able to distinguish the limits of artistic nude. This was maybe the only field where I had a strong feeling that I needed a well-experienced teacher. About 12 years ago, I finally persuaded one of our members at the Hellenic Photographic Society, a well-known photographer for his nudes, to deliver seminars and workshops to our members about nude photography. I'm so happy for that moment that opened a completely new horizon for me in my photographic journey. Some years later, I dedicated my first international gold salon, gold medal, sorry, in nude section to him. And in 2014, after three years hard work with many models, I hesitantly submitted my portfolio for the MFIAP title and became the first Greek photographer with this high artistic distinction. Before taking pictures of the human figure, the photographer should take some decisions. First of all, which model should he use? Should it be a man or a woman? Maybe more than 95% of human figures in their nude form are made by female models. The reason is that our contemporary eye is more accustomed to the female body as a representative of motherhood, of softness, or perfection, or even erotism. Nevertheless, we should not forget that in the past, male sculptures constituted the majority, 
without being provocative or nude. In ancient Greece, for example, the perfection of classical proportions and the integration of dynamism was incorporated in the sculptures of naked gods and heroes. The same principle can be found today in photographic shots of male models, suitably illuminated in order to highlight their muscles and by consequence, their power and force. The next question is how many models? Usually, usually we use only one model when we work on the human figure. This is not a rule without exceptions. Sometimes two or more models can be added at the same frame, especially when the photographer needs to tell a story. The last question before starting to take pictures is where to put the model. The easiest way is indoor photography, indoor shooting, where the photographer can make use of the natural light. A south-oriented window with a curtain or blinds can offer the perfect light if the model is posed next to it. This is also the easiest way since this light is soft, constant, and unidirectional. Unwanted objects in the room around the model can easily be hidden behind the dark fabric background or can easily be removed later in post-processing. If the photographer is more experienced with artificial lighting, he can use one or more studio bulbs. In this case, he becomes the real master of the light. He can add at his will any soft or hard, any spotted or diffused light source on, around, or behind the model, giving this way the desired effect. Alternatively, he can achieve the same result with the use of computer techniques that allow the imitation of different light sources. Getting away from the studio, the photographer can take the model in the countryside. In this case, the nature becomes part of the picture, or better, the model becomes part of the nature. The possibilities are endless. Again, the model can be used as a little detail in the background or as the principal part of the frame. When the human figure is taken in the countryside, there is also often a special concept, like in this picture, behind the shot, where the model and the nature are complementing each other, as you can see here with the reflection of the model in the bottom of the picture. Speaking about the human figure in photography, we can now distinguish some basic categories. First of all, the classic shots, academic pictures, imitating the Greek or Roman sculptures of the antiquity. The photographer should be a master of the human body, having sufficiently studied human anatomy and classic art. The duty of the photographer is to highlight the beauty of the human body with its perfect proportions. His tools are the light and shadows in order to create embossed figures, if possible, sticking out of the screen or better out of the printed paper. You know, this kind of photography is better intended for printed fine art pictures. The second step is the controversial disturbing bodies. What do I mean by this? The photographer is aiming at the imperfections, at the deficiencies and blemishes. Thin or obese people are the perfect models in this case. The photographer has then two alternatives. He can focus on the raw form of the figure with little or no reference to the human body. Or he can focus on the hidden human value behind the apparent ugliness of the figure. A clear example of the latter is elderly or even amputated models. The next step is about shapes and body details. The model is no more seen or treated as a human being, but more as a material. The photographer focuses on details that can be seen from different angles and, and positions. 
one technique that I used a lot, and you saw it also in my portfolio, is to turn around the final picture by 90 or even 100 degrees. This way I completely forgot the human origin of the model, and I finally discovered something new or strange through a different perspective. A well-known example of this method is human landscapes, usually in black and white, where parts of the human body are presented in such a way as to give the impression of a landscape. Having answered all these questions and having decided about the model, the place and the light, the photographer can now start taking pictures under one last condition. It is particularly important to have a project or a concept in his mind. It is impossible to take pictures with this, without a certain previous idea. Otherwise, the result will be just a collection of useless pictures. For that reason, it's essential for the photographer to discuss previously the idea with his model and eventually prepare the model with the adequate makeup or clothing. Here again, the possibilities are endless. The human figure can be used as a design with isolated lines and forms. It can also be used as an object or as an abstracted body elements. It can be distorted under wide angle lenses that are able to modify the proportions or under strange angles that may surprise the viewer with a weird or, grot or grotesque. Will the photographer be limited to individual autonomous shots or create sequences presenting a story under a thematic direction? The human figure does not always need to be completely naked. Very often it is used in advertising for the promotion of different products that occasionally have little or even nothing to do with the human body. A similar example is the use of human figure in fashion photography. The aim is the same, to attract the eye around the human figure for a better highlighting of the advertised product. As I told you in the beginning, the great challenge with human figure photography is to set the boundaries around artistic and cheap images, targeting, of course, a different audiences. The risk is higher in glamour photography, where photographers should piece together several different aspects, from wardrobe and makeup to lighting and post-processing. Glamour photography focuses on the beauty, charm, and grace of the person in the photograph. It is a gen that can celebrate even sexual attraction. Because of this, it sometimes makes photographers apprehensive and other times it reaches extremes that no longer qualifies as glamour. In conclusion, I would say that the most important key in the pursuit of the human figure is always the communication with the model. Usually professional models know better what to do and how to pose, thus making easier the job of the photographer. On the contrary, they may end to cliches and repetitive images. Before shooting, is it essential to study the model both physically and mentally? Physically in order to distinguish the model's proportions, smile or expressions. Mentally, in order to discover how the model's character can be reflected in the picture. Before shooting, the photographer should always gain the trust of the model. Do not forget that the model always stays in front of us completely nude. On the contrary of the photographer who is hidden behind the camera and behind the lens. When I shoot my models, I often to try pictures while I am discussing with them so that they feel more comfortable in front of the lens. Sometimes I usually put some music and try to take pictures 
while they are dancing. This way, their emotions or even pauses are more authentic. Finally, and this is also essential in human figure photography, I have never taken pictures without having acquired the written and signed approval of the model for the purposes I need to use the pictures. Thank you for being with me. I hope you liked this presentation. Wonderful presentation, I honestly call this. Uh, uh, I will request the participants uh, to ask any questions, feel free. Uh, before anybody asks, I will ask uh, our Barun Sinha sir to say a few words uh, on his presentation. Hello. Sinha sir. Sir, unmute yourself. Sinha sir. Barun sir, unmute. Huh? Uh, uh, sir, say a few uh, words for presentation. Yes, thank you very much, uh, uh, Mukesh ji, for asking me to uh, say a few words about uh, this presentation, which was mesmerizing yeah. as well as captivating. Uh, gave me new ideas to try in future and uh, learned a lot of uh, things today. And thank you, Anis, for sharing your wonderful images. Uh, although I had seen your uh, MPF set many times over the, on the net, but uh, the presentation you showed today was entirely different and uh, thought-provoking, to say the least. Thank you. OK, sir. Anil, sir, please say something about his presentation. Uh, thank you, Mukherjee. Uh, nude photography is a very sensitive and a very difficult subject to deal with. And uh, I always feel there is a hairline difference between the nude and the naked. Uh, very difficult to tackle. And uh, my friend, Jonas Lecoris, handled this difficult subject with great perfection. And... Uh, his concept of uh, showing the human body uh, in sub-geometrical forms and al alphabetical forms is, is his own concept. So I like it very much. I, I congratulate uh, Mr. Lycoris for this great presentation and giving us the insight of how uh, human body, human body is one of the beautiful things of this world and uh, how human body uh, we can have as a lovely subject for our photography. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Adit Agrawala, sir. Are you here, sir? Adit Agrawala, sir. Yes. Yeah, please say something, sir. Uh, long back, I had heard a saying from great photographer Wellington Lee. Wellington Lee from Canada, he used to do a lot of new photography and the pictures used to come and get accepted and even awarded in our PAD salon, Calcutta. So once he had remarked that the secret of uh, new photography is there is a very hairline difference between new photography, artistic photography, and the uh, other side, which becomes poo-poo. Uh, and he said that nude photography should be done, artistic photography should be done in such a manner that it does not titillate the human mind. Today, when I saw Mr. Lycoris' presentation and other photographs, I saw he truly reflected the sentiments of Wellington Lee. Not a single photograph, neither in his MPR portfolio, nor in his today's presentation, titillate human mind. On the contrary, uh, he has utilized the feelings of the model, female model, nude, and presented it in his own characteristic manner to express his own thoughts. That is wonderful. And uh, it has definitely 
given us some insight that how anybody can proceed in this direction. It's a very difficult field, new photography, but he has shown us some hints. Thank you, Mr. Lycoris. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, Bhupesh ji, are you here? Bhupesh, little, are you here? Yes, yes, I am. Yeah, yeah, please, uh, you are... Uh, uh, Anus Likoris, he is he's from Lucknow and presently he is the, um, the lecturer in photography in uh, Jamia Islamia University in Delhi. Bhupesh ji, please say about uh, this. Thank you, Bhupesh ji, for giving me an opportunity and thank you, uh, like Horace, wonderful presentation. Uh, I am uh, right now working with Jamia Millia Islamia University in Delhi as an associate professor of photography and uh, graphic design. Uh, it was a wonderful presentation, as everybody has said. And uh, actually, his artistic uh, approach to the photography of nudes is something that has reminded me uh, one of my students' works long back. Because uh, this is one of the subjects which is very challenging, no doubt. And handling the figure study in an artistic manner is very, very difficult. Uh, for my master's degree student, I remember I had given a topic of figure study as his main subject, allotted uh, subject. And uh, initially, he was very Later on, he went on to produce a portfolio that was really good and that got a uh, national scholarship from uh, the Delhi uh, Academy of Fine Arts also. So, uh, Mr. Lycoris's work and his work has some resemblance. Of course, none of them have seen each other's works, but I can relate to that. And uh, no doubt, obviously, it is something to learn from. I, I take this opportunity to uh, congratulate uh, like Oris, and also thank him for making us learn more. Thank you. Thank you very much, Bhupesh. Uh, Bran Hopper, please say something for his presentation. Thank you, Mukesh. Um, Ioannis, you, you, uh, you showed us your human side. Uh, many of us have seen you over the years in many, many photographs uh, in connection with FIAP. And today we, we learned about the, the, the person. Um, you are very generous, as has been said. Um, you not, uh, you gave us all your complete insight and all the, the uh, tips, uh, which we can all take away from today's presentation. So uh, thank you very much for that. Um, it was, it was a, a quite an amazing presentation. So thank you. Thanks, Brian. <clears throat> uh, uh, Arun Brianji, are you here? Yes, sir, I am here. Okay, before you uh, give vote of thanks. Hmm. Uh, sir. Uh, Yuanis Ligoris, are you here? Yuanis Ligoris. Hello. Okay, in the meantime, I'll request... Uh, uh, sir, Likoris, sir, please. you please unmute yourself. Sir, Likoris. Okay, I'm here, but I was muted. Okay, uh, just wait for a minute. I'll request uh, Virendra Patnaiji to okay. say a few words about his presentation, because for the first time, I'm seeing you here. Just yes, sir. Say, yeah, please. Please carry on. He was, okay. he was a little bit late today. I have just admitted him. Yeah, yeah. And I, I was joyous to see him that he is present here today, the first time. Uh, could you see the complete presentation, Patnakji? Miran, sir, unmute yourself. Unmute yourself. Unmute yourself. Miran, sir. Click. Huh, yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, could you see his complete presentation, Patnak ji? Uh, no. no, I'm some, uh, sometimes late. <laughs> okay, okay. Then, then, then uh, anyway, no, no, no problem. I was engaged. Without seeing, you cannot give any, any, any observation. Okay. 
so before uh, 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 i will uh, talk to you yeah okay fine uh, so before arun bhaiyan ji give the word of thanks i will request yuanis uh, uh, ligoris to give words of blessings to us dhanwad camera club of india over to yuanis ligoris okay. so i would like to thank you once more for being here and for having given me the opportunity to present uh, this lecture about nude photography uh, i remember that uh, ricardo buzzi who is the president of fiat has also given a lecture a special lecture some months ago and uh, as i have seen uh, your club is a very active one during these difficult times of pandemic you are trying to keep photographers uh, in action even with this kind of uh, teleconferences uh, so i think that uh, once the pandemic ends all your members will be ready to shoot again outside of their houses having taken having taken new ideas during these uh, webinars so it is a very good idea and i would like to congratulate you about that thank you very much i uh, honestly got this uh, just uh, as uh, our ricardo busi sir uh, told uh, gave us the opportunity we have sent 50 images from our member to the fef probably he wants to uh, review all the images on the fef platform i mm -hmm. think we will see it shortly uh, yes. already i sent to him uh, to which back 50 images from the members of dhanbad camera club Okay. thank you very much uh, for being with us and showing us the different uh, genre of photography and we all enjoyed especially me also i learned a lot uh, because how to handle the uh, actually uh, the forms uh, of the body and how to handle and how to shoot mm -hmm. now i'll request arun kumar banerji to give word of thanks uh, thank you sir uh honorable and most valued invited guest of the day sir ayonis licoris secretary general fia respected sir adit agarwal president federation of indian photography dr varun sinha sir honorary secretary general fia fip sorry sir anil nisal singh ex president fip and chief advisor dhanwad camera club sir brian hopper honorary advisor dcc from ireland uh, sir mukesh sivastav president dcc and to all the photography lovers present here today it's my privilege to have been asked to propose a vote of thanks on this prestigious occasion on behalf of dhanwad camera club and on my own behalf i extend a very hearty vote of thanks to all of you and especially i would like to thank our most valuable speaker of day webinar uh, sir ayones licorish for visiting and enlightening us with his works today's presentation was full of interesting images and really informative i am pretty sure the precious knowledge that sir Ionis Licoris gave will definitely help us for practicing photography in future as a fine arts. Thank you, sir. So thank you so much for taking out time from your busy schedule and joining us with your spectacular presentation. I would like to convey my gratitude and heartiest thanks to Sir Adit Agarwal and Dr. Varun Sinha sir for always being with DCC on behalf of. FIP with their valuable support and guidance i must say thanks to both the advisor of dcc sir anil sal singh and sir brian hooper for their continuous support and guidance and so far i can recollect sir brian hooper has not missed a single dcc webinar till date thank you sir i would like to convey my heartiest thanks to our official equipment partner nikon india for their valuable support and informative information presentation through mr pallav paul technical expert nikon india today and last but not least 
I would like to convey my heartiest respect and thanks to Sir Mukesh Sivastav, President DCC, who really worked hard to make this event successful and for being the main curator of all the past and future activities of DCC. Once again, I say thanks from my core of heart to all you present here today for paying your attention and valuable time. Thank you to all of you. Uh, Over to me, sir. Uh, thanks, Arun Kumar Benerji. Yuanis uh, uh, Vigoris, I would like to uh, give you a few information about our activities. Uh, we in Dhanabad Camera Club, we almost uh, we try to go for a photo walk every month. And after the photo walk is over, we also go for a photo review session. Even during this pandemic, uh, we have done three photo walks. And that's the third one was done just two days back on 14th of January. And uh, for the previous two photo walks, already we have done the photo review. Because photo review uh, gives the opportunity for the young members to learn the techniques advised mm -hmm. by the uh, senior photographers. So we have three, four senior photographers in our club. Uh, likewise, uh, uh, Brian Hopper, uh, Anil Risal Singh, sir. Uh, I, can, I can count myself also. And like that, and then we give advices how to improve upon that. Second thing, we are also going to publish a ebook on this DCC photo webinar complete series. So uh, I will request you to send to my, my mail a few words about how did you feel uh, about the DCC photo day, photo webinar in mm -hmm. your words. This okay. is a part of part of that ebook because in ebook uh, I will try to include the photo presentations screenshots of every speaker at the same time and uh, the few words of blessings by the speaker also and this mm -hmm. will be published in the month of April. And hopefully, uh, on that day, I will would like to uh, request uh, um, all the legendary photographers of the world uh, to be uh, with us, maybe for five or ten minutes to see the inauguration session uh, of the book. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much to be with us. And really, we learned we learned a lot how to play with light and shadow and the forms. Thank you very much. So should we say goodbye and good night? <laughs> namaskar, namaskar. Thank you and namaskar to everybody. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye.